bad news for Arsenal today as uh, Takehiro Tomiyasu turns out his injury is very serious and he won't be playing again for Arsenal this season. Um, very, very um, bad news obviously as we don't want anybody injured but this is a very good depth option injured and it turns out um, some players may have to play more than usual and we really want as many players as possible in this running so bad news for Arsenal and uh, let's get into it and how this happened. So as we all know against Sporting Takehiro Tomiyasu went off injured and there uh, it did look quite loot bag to be honest as he had to come off straight away I mean the way he got injured it was very unfortunate I must say and um, he like stretched like over stretched to get a ball and ended up fouling the guy and uh, he might have even got booked for it but all I know is that um, he 100% did um, stretch and it was very unnatural and did look very bad and people were uh, worrying after the game and uh, that's when we saw him on the stretch um, not stretcher that would be very bad uh, on crutches and when you're on crutches it's not a great sign and Mikel Arteta said this on uh, whether he'll play again this season before it got confirmed obviously and um, I don't know obviously the doctor was assessing him we've had uh, one assessment we need to have another one tomorrow obviously we've already had it but it's not looking good that's for sure looking at Tommy he's not someone who exaggerates things he was really concerned straight away and we are concerned so I think the whole club knew as soon as that happened that it was going to be bad and Arteta didn't say it's not looking good so I think he knew that this was a real possibility before it got confirmed today obviously especially with him coming off straight away and uh, him coming on crutches after the game so very bad news and a very unfortunate injury as I said the way he slipped the way he overstretched it's very unlucky, I don't, can't really blame him, it's not like a muscle thing or anything, it's just very unfortunate for Tommy Asu. And that's when the confirmation came earlier today, obviously Arsenal tweeted this, the boss has provided a medical update on Takeo Tomiyasu and when you click on the article it says this, uh, following his substitution during last few uh, Thursday's Europe League match, subsequent assessments have confirmed that Takehiro Tomiyasu sustained a significant injury to his right knee. Below that it says this, Tommy has had successful surgery in London on Tuesday and will be ruled out for the remainder of the season. Everyone at the club will now uh, be working hard with Tommy so he can join pre-season training ahead of next season. So as we were saying before, it's very but, um, bad news obviously for Arsenal. Um, obviously we wish him the very best, let's hope he can get back as soon uh, as possible. People have their opinions on him, whatever, but the most important thing is his health and I really hope he'll be back and uh, it will go well for him. A uh, good thing he had successful surgery as well. And uh, I guess the one good news is that hopefully he can join pre-season, so get ready for next season. Because if he was out for longer, that would be uh, very bad news. So at least he, he should hopefully, um, hopefully, that's a big word, be back uh, for pre-season and he can train with the team for next season and uh, yeah but as I said here uh, um, he's out for the season very bad news as uh, he, he's a good um, central defender option he can play right back left back this is a very solid option in my opinion and yes he wasn't on the best form against Man City but I thought he did a couple of good cameras at left back as well to get especially sporting away and uh, I thought he did a couple of nice games as well and it's just very unfortunate that we're losing a player in this running I mean first of all I've got to say I think this makes the evil play loss look less bad I think that evil play league loss if we were still in the Europa league we might have been in big big trouble because players like ben white might have to play full 90 minutes over thursday sunday so i think going at the Europa league i think most fans would agree that it's probably the best thing as of now because of our depth and because of these bad injuries that we're getting but as for the premier league it's still disappointing as that means ben white's gonna have to play every game and it's not obviously a bad thing because ben white's been amazing but when he needs rest, usually Tommy Asu is one of Arteta's first subs because he trusts him to do a job and it's just very unfortunate that Tommy Asu did get um, injured and it, unfortunately I think we all did kind of, um, kind of know this that he was going to miss the season but having it confirmed is just yeah all we can do now is just hope he gets back to fitness as soon as possible and wish him best of luck in his recovery of course. His injury record has been a big discussion at this time at Arsenal actually and you can see here uh, even when he was at Bologna he missed quite a few games and last season he had quite a few injury problems and this one obviously his knee surgery is going to take till um, pre-season so you can see his injury record isn't great and that's why people have discussed whether we should be keeping him or selling him as I would say this one I don't really blame him for, you can't blame him for this to be honest because yes muscle injuries are annoying but this is a knee surgery very unfortunate slip and I wouldn't properly blame him for this and that's where the conversation came from could we do better than Tommy Asher because he's always injured we can't rely upon him I see both sides of the argument of course you want a more reliable squad player no matter how good they are what they say is um, availability 
ability is the best ability and it's true to some extent as you can see from Granite Xhaka always available and that's a great brilliant trait to have and Tomias unfortunately doesn't have it but on the other hand he's still only 24 and you can see the quality he has um, he can use both feet as well he can play across that back four in my opinion and uh, he was available for most of our games this season just couldn't play of course because Ben White uh, has been in excellent form played against Liverpool as well in that left back position thought he did a fantastic job against Salah so I'm not sure if I'd go too far in this injury prone thing yes he has had injuries but it's not like he's pulled a muscle this time it's just a very unfortunate slip in this instance However, I do think we should be buying a right back and that's not to necessarily replace Tommy Asu. I mean, it's more to um, compliment him in a way because I think he's been fantastic at left back and he can do a job at centre back. I would like somebody, we've been quite linked with Fesneda, somebody like him, I would not be surprised if we go for him and Tommy Asu becomes uh, like a centre back to a uh, backup to Saliba or maybe a backup left back, something like that. So I think he <clears throat> would be very impressed from there and that would be a good position for him. But going back to the injury, as you can see, not a great injury record, but as of this instance, this is super, super unlucky and a very good player we're missing out on. It was very, very disappointing as um, we could have really um, used him for this run. And we need every player to be honest, even the ones you do rate, don't rate everybody we're going to need for this run. And then to lose somebody, and even uh, he's going to be gutted, of course. Of course, he's going to be gutted. He really wants to be playing our part, as you can see his mentality as well. He really wants to um, play a part in this title run, and uh, unfortunately, he can't. And he He's going to be as disappointed as everybody else of course. What does this mean for Arsenal? It means no adequate cover for Ben White it looks like at least or at least no natural cover as uh, Tommy Asu will usually slot right in for him and also reduced cover at centre back options with Saliba also out. There's no update on Saliba's injury with the wait and see on that one but the Tommy Asu one is obviously out for the season we've discussed here and uh, yeah Ben White it looks like he will be playing uh, most 90 minutes and everything which is good because he's been fantastic this season but the main worry is that what if he gets a suspension, what if he gets a little niggle, who's going to play right back for us? Some people have said Saliba can play right back, obviously he's injured at the moment, but if it's not as bad as we think and he's um, okay for the next couple of games, perhaps he could do a job at right back. But um, there's lots of other people. Some people suggested uh, perhaps calling Cedric and uh, Norton Coffee one of those two back from loan. I don't think the club will do that. I hope I think the club will leave Cedric up for them to get a good fee in there. I don't think they want to put the pressure of a title race under Norton Coffee, who's never played a Premier League game for us. I think that will be a ridiculous decision. So Norton Coffee will stay, and I do think Cedric will stay. So I don't see us bringing anybody back from loan. Obviously, Thomas Partey, he played right back on the weekend for about 10 minutes, but I don't think that's going to be a long-term uh, decision at all. Um, he's brilliant in that midfield, keeping him, keep him in that midfield. Can't see him playing right back. There's been lots of other options that could happen. Zenchenko right back, Tierney left back, Kiwi or left back, something like that. Could Nelson even do right back? There's lots of things you could do. Will he do that? I don't think so. And you don't really want to be risking these things in the t um, in a tight array. So that's why you ideally want a proper right back like Tomiyasu, so you can cover in that position. And uh, it's it's frustrating, obviously. As you don't want White playing 90 minutes after 90 minutes because his job is super difficult. Overlapping, inverting, he's doing everything in that right back position. And uh, to play 90 minutes every week and the shifts he's putting in, it's going to be very very um, difficult. And to preserve him when we're winning. Well, it'll be interesting to see what Arteta does, see if he continues with this party right back experiment. I highly doubt it, but um, that is all um, to that. But the one on the right is uh, Real Walters. I think most of you will probably recognise him from pre-season. Uh, he's a centre-back and I believe he can play right back. And uh, he was in the squad, if I believe, uh, or at least uh, travelled with Arsenal in the Crystal Palace game and uh, I imagine he may be in a lot more matchday squads than usual because um, I don't think he's, like, he's going to start any games unless it's like an injury crisis but as a bench option uh, he might have to come on if we're winning a game comfortably and he can come on for a little bit because he may be the main uh, viable option at that position if um, uh, Ben White if he used to come off or anything so perhaps the Walters I would not put that one past in fact I think that may be the more likely one if Saliba is also injured so we have to wait and see it's put us in the as I said it's not a great position to be in as uh, you really want your backups to be available and uh, if to now that Tommy Asu is injured Ben White's gonna have to play but he's gonna have to put in a massive massive shift as he always does but at the end of the day you may tie because April's a nightmare I think we've got 
um, Leeds, then Liverpool. I'm not sure the rest of but there's one period where we've got Man City away, Chelsea at home, Brighton at home, and Newcastle away. So can wait play 90 minutes in all four of those games. I did he want a Tommy Asher in that, but um, this is why I said as the manager, you get all these problems and he's going to have to find a way to um, go around it. And hopefully, this won't uh, derail our season, obviously. But that's it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Tomiyasu, how big of a blow is this, um, what would you in the summer, would you want another right back, would you make Tomiyasu depth, um, what else is, uh, would you do with him, let me know your thoughts on the right back position, how do we solve that without White when he's not playing, what would you do, would you perhaps bring back some lone players, would you like to see a different style uh, where somebody else can play there, let me know all that as well, and obviously best wishes to Tomiyasu, that's the main thing here want him to uh, recover as well as possible and hopefully a good aim would be back for pre-season so hopefully there's no setbacks no negative injuries or anything so hopefully Tommy Asu will recover very soon and I can't wait to see him in an Arsenal shirt again so that's really it for this video just a short little video describing about Tommy Asu's injury like subscribe and uh, thanks again for watching